Earth, 2 billion BCE. One of the most momentous events for humankind is about to play out in the water. In a primordial struggle for survival, a tiny bacterium is engulfed by a single-celled organism. Neither organism is harmed. Instead, the bacterium integrates into its host, turning oxygen into energy in exchange for protection from the outside world. Symbiosis. You are the result. Today, the would-be invaders live on in each of us as the mitochondria, the powerhouses in our cells. Doug Wallace of the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia spent decades studying them, uncovering mitochondrial mysteries and shedding light on the origins of humankind. I've always wanted to know why, um, so there was never any doubt that I would spend my life seeking answers to questions of why. Wallace went into the biological sciences, healthcare, with a strong side interest in physics, namely energy production. To study energy production, a good place to start is the power plant. By 1971, he had humankind's oldest friends under a microscope. Each cell in your body contains thousands of mitochondria, which work constantly to turn oxygen into energy. Because mitochondria descend from bacteria, they contain their own simple but separate DNA. For 15 years, Wallace worked to decipher the basic principles of mitochondrial genetics before having a major breakthrough. Wallace took mitochondrial DNA samples of everyone he knew, mothers, fathers, and children alike, painstakingly comparing the samples and watching for patterns. And what we saw is that the pattern of all the children was identical to the mother and had nothing to do with the father. Wallace called home to his mother, an avid feminist, to report a discovery that some scientists believe may be one of the most important in modern medicine, that only women can pass along the powerhouses of our cells. I knew she always believed that all the power was coming from the women in the first place, and I thought she would be very pleased, but in fact, I got silence. And I said, well, do you want to comment? And she said, well, you were supposed to be Karen, and you did not come out Karen, so you murdered my mitochondrial today, and she hung up. But Wallace was on to something. Like all DNA, mitochondrial DNA changes over time, or mutates. If mothers pass along these mutations to their children, Wallace reasoned, then he should be able to do something extraordinary, look way back into the past and uncover the history of human migration. Picture a bracelet with stone settings handed down from your great-grandparents. Three generations own it before it's passed along to you, each generation losing a few stones along the way. Now, let's say every owner photographed the bracelet upon receiving it. You could order the photographs chronologically simply by comparing the patterns of missing stones, like this. Now pretend the patterns of stones, made incredibly more complex, are mutations in mitochondrial DNA sampled from people around the world. If a certain mutation pattern on one continent exists on another, we can infer the lineages are connected. Wallace had peered hundreds of thousands of years into the past and traced human migrations out of Africa and across the globe. Wallace furthered his investigation into mitochondrial DNA mutations, linking them to metabolic disorders, autism, and even aging. Wallace discovered that over time, as these mutations accumulate, the diseases of old age begin to manifest. When I was much younger, I asked my mother what it was like to be old. And uh, besides hitting me, uh, she answered that question, I just don't have the energy I used to. And uh, people laugh at that, but I believe that is absolutely right. I think we're following the equivalent of a metropolitan brownout. As we get older, we have less and less power plants, less and less energy, and ultimately our systems no longer can function adequately, and we call that disease. Currently, Wallace is paving a path for mitochondrial gene replacement therapies that may one day increase our lifespans and help reverse diseases that cannot be treated any other way. Wallace may be one of the only living scientists whose body of work demystifies humankind from its very inception and continues to brighten our future one breakthrough at a time.